Welcome back, you f***ing maniacs. I'm really excited to show off a little joint project I did with User Idiot. You can find him down on Twitch. His link is in the description. Um, what we do is take your currently set Twitch game and send it off to the Steam API. That way we can pull back either the funniest reviews, the most recent reviews, or the reviews that have been tagged the most helpful. After those five minutes are done and been wasted, then we're going to take the next minute showing you how to bring the box out or up on the screen. That way all three of your viewers think you're some kind of Twitch f***ing god and you're so cool. But otherwise, without further ado, sit back, shut up, and follow the clicks. All right, first things first, we're going to head to Chrome. And there we're going to go to steamcommunity.com slash dev slash API key. The link is down in the description. Uh, once we're at the site, we're going to make sure you're logged in with your Steam, obviously, and go to the domain name. Here you can type whatever the hell you want to. I'm going to call this Idiots Steam Game Reviews. Press agree and then click register. Now you gotta confirm if you use Steam Guard or two factor authentication. I am confirming it. There we go. Here is my Steam key, API key. Don't worry, I'm changing it after this video. We're gonna copy that because the next step will be heading over to Streamerbot. We need to grab the import code, which link for that is also down in the description. We're going to press import on uh, Streamerbot here to get the import string box pop out. And we're just going to drag the import string in. You have one command and one action, and that is it. Click the import button. It's going to let you know the command is disabled, and you just press OK. From there, we'll click on the action and head up to the commands tab to make sure that we enable that command, which is going to be right here called review. Right click and enable it. Now it's enabled. Good, good, good. The only thing we have to do for setup here is paste our API key from earlier. So in the first argument it says obtain your Steam Web API key, double click on it. Where it says your Steam API key, just go ahead and paste it and press OK. The Steam tag and the minimum tag votes are two variables that you can use to kind of change the reviews. It defaults to one, um, which returns funny views or funny reviews. Um, and then two are for more helpful reviews. And then three is for the most recent, i.e. within the last 30 days. And then the minimum number of votes, if you turn this up to say three, four, five, that just means if they were tagged funny and they have that many upvotes for being funny, then um, it helps ensure you get the funniest of the content. And the last little note here is Anytime after the execute code, you can use the game box art variable, i.e. if you want to do an overlay, which we will be adding here shortly. So we've got that in there. Now to test to make sure it works, we'll just click save here. Open up our chat. And this is going to be nothing more than typing review. Oops, I don't know why I was putting a one. And right here it says, Ivan played it for 39 hours and he wrote, Buried my friend alive after we had a minor spat over who owned our pathetic home. One out of one. Run it again. Sexual Dinosaur played it for 422 hours and said that, Day one you cry in the corner in an attic while eating dog food. Day 240 you're eating venison stews like a king in your impenetrable fortress. JK, nope. Day three, you broke your leg, walking limp, then shredded bits by a pack of dogs, and oh, that's in the hard drive now. So that's it. It is all set up. Um, if you're interested in adding a little OBS overlay, I'm going to walk you through that real quick. So we're going to minimize out of our streamer bot momentarily and head to OBS. In OBS, we're going to go to our sources and just add a new browser source. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to call this Game Box Art, and then press OK. For width, we're going to go with 300 pixels by 400 pixels. Leave all the rest of that. Press OK. I'm going to be a little cheeky here. I'm going to put it down in the corner, give it a little rotate so it just kind of peeks in um, when the command is used, and then I'm going to hide it. After that, we're going to minimize OBS and head back to StreamerBot momentarily. Actually, we don't even need to minimize it. We'll just head to StreamerBot here. Beneath the execute code, we're going to add one, two, three, four sub actions. 
the first one being an OBS set browser source and our source whatever seen source name and then the URL is going to be percent game box art percent so we're using that game box art variable that we populated in the code press OK move this up a little bit more here next we're going to add a uh, visibility so source set source visibility state when you use game box art again we're going to make it visible because I'm lazy I go right click and I duplicate it now we're going to go from visible to hidden and then we're going to do one more sub action a core delay you can put whatever you'd like I think five seconds sounds about right press OK and then make sure you put that in between your visible and hidden obviously that way it shows and then hides the source that's it we're going to save streamer bot and we're going to run it one more time let me zoom out here that way you can see it behind my head and we're going to say exclamation point review let me come back and now you'll see if it's an extremely long review like this one it's going to break it up into however many messages it is so keep that in mind some of these reviews are novels um that being said nothing i'm going to change in here you're more than welcome to go into the code and put a maximum on it but i personally like the novels so deal with it what would you look at that six minutes of your day totally wasted but now you got a really cool feature i think that will make your stream suck even less i do want to give a big big thank you to user idiot um he started the entire project has been on my to-do list and i haven't done jack with it um but he kind of took off and ran with it and then went back and forth with them and i kind of took it over um so huge huge shout out to him again if you haven't already drop him a follow on twitch otherwise make sure you like share comment subscribe all the cool shit you're supposed to do to make me more popular on youtube greatly greatly appreciate it for now snag the import code from the ko-fi link if you haven't already which you have because you're already at this point in the video um hopefully sooner than later we'll get approved over on the streamer bot extension and i'll update the links until next time i'll catch you later you maniacs